Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, the Beastly Gamer, and today I wanted to have a conversation with you guys about crossplay and whether or not Sony would actually really consider doing it. And yeah, this is my uh, <laughs> crazy episode. So according to Forbes magazine, I came across a pretty cool article talking about crossplay and how Sony could actually be the odd man out pretty soon. And the thought of that just really, uh, it seems strange because Sony is just creaming the competition. Of course, Nintendo is doing really well. Microsoft is doing well with the Xbox One S. The X will be out, and uh, people are really excited about that. But you, in my mind, you know, you're so many millions ahead that it would be really strange for crossplay to actually be the one function or one feature that your console doesn't have. And it'll be, you know, interesting to see whether or not Sony actually needs to get on board with this. But I'll drop a link in the description. PS4 is becoming the odd console out from the Xbox One and the Switch. Yesterday, we heard an otherwise small announcement from developer Black Riddles and Microsoft's Xbox chief, Phil Spencer. An upcoming crowdfunded project called Crazy Justice will be offering cross-play between the Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and PC. They said, adding another title to the slowly growing library of games that Nintendo fans can play with Microsoft fans other notable inclusions are Minecraft and Rocket League. But while the game will be coming to PS4, there's no mention of any sort of crossplay with Sony's console, nor is there likely to be any, because Sony are assholes. While crossplay is becoming a bigger and bigger focus for other manufacturers, this puts the owners of the most successful console on the market in an awkward spot. Microsoft threw down the gauntlet last year, extending an essentially open invitation to owners of other online networks, hint to work on crossplay together. At the time, the idea of owners of other online networks was widely interpreted to mean Sony, and the challenge felt somewhat symbolic. Microsoft made a big announcement on this subject in E3. However, announcing an ambitious crossplay project for Minecraft that covered nearly all the game's platforms, putting its money where its mouth was where the new idea was concerned. Sony's, however, was notably absent, something that would become a theme. So, yeah, Sony, they are completely out of this. They are not interested. They've shown no interest at all <laughs> in any kind of cross-play between Microsoft or any other entities. It's fairly obvious that Sony is wary of these plans. The size of their online community is a major selling point in the modern console market because people want to be able to play in an ecosystem with as many other players as possible. For that reason, Sony's sales lead over Microsoft in the early days of the console generation became a major competitive advantage, solidifying Sony's sizable momentum and making sure that the PS4 would be a tough console to catch. Offering cross-play would essentially cede that advantage, and Sony has very little reason to play along, even if it's an obviously player-first sort of move, which is absolutely true. Uh, from a business standpoint, you got to admit, there's really no reason that Sony would go along with this. Sony has mostly cited reasons surrounding security for the decision, but that seems suspect. Bullshit. If notoriously paranoid companies like Apple and Nintendo can get on board, surely Sony could make it work, and that is very, very true. The Switch could prove to be a serious complicating factor in this equation. Sony's firm stance is less noteworthy in a more binary world where Microsoft pushes crossplay between PC and Xbox while the console world remains relatively unchanged. The popularity of the Switch, however, is making this much less of a two-horse race, and Nintendo has been clear about its willingness to play along with Microsoft's crossplay project, which is very out of character for Nintendo and their conservative views on their, their video game properties. We've already seen several notable additions, and there's no real reason to think that more won't follow, especially if small and mid-sized developers continue to flock toward Nintendo's new platform, which they are. The Switch is sick. Extensive crossplay between PC, Xbox, Switch, and other platforms would mean that Sony could no longer claim the largest online community, not by a long shot. And the more we see of crossplay between the Switch and Xbox, the more awkward Sony's position gets from the outside. I don't think it's going to make a giant difference in the narrative short term, but it's going to be very interesting to watch over the next couple of years as a strange beast that is the extended console generation continues to develop. 
If crossplay becomes a fact of life for every platform besides Sony's, at some point we might get to a place where the company has no choice but to go alone. A few weeks ago, a glitch in Fortnite allowed PS4 and Xbox One players to play together, unintentionally showing us just how easy it might be to make this work for some games. It was a brief but beautiful moment. A gaming world with no walls. Maybe we can get there again, but it might take time. So, my thoughts on this gender-bending episode of Beastly Gamer. Um, Microsoft, they're doing this, and, and we've spoken about it on our podcast, Revolver Live. We talked about it in our old podcast, Beastly Thoughts. Microsoft has very, very good reasons to reach out to Sony and even Nintendo at this point. The Switch is selling extremely well. It's getting rave reviews. We're starting to see the actual power of this thing. And if Microsoft can get some cross-play, you know, going with these competitors, it's good for their brand. They're playing catch-up. Sony is not. And I, I like to think that if the tables were turned and Microsoft had over 60 million Xbox One sold and the PlayStation was somewhere around 30, uh, that Microsoft wouldn't give a damn, <laughs> to be totally honest. They wouldn't care at all about Sony's plight. They would not, in my opinion, be extending uh, in hand to Sony and saying, hey, let's cross-play, let's play Rocket League together, let's play Fortnite together, let's play Minecraft together. I, I think they have a completely different agenda, and their agenda at that point would be maintaining their market share, maintaining the size of their online community, and driving sales of their consoles. So that's what Sony's plan is right now. They want to keep people buying PlayStation 4s. They want to keep people buying PlayStation 4 Pros. And if they allow you to play Call of Duty or another game on your PlayStation against somebody or friend of yours who has an Xbox One, then that negates your friend's need to buy a PlayStation. And it's just, well, it's simple business. And so that's my opinion on this topic. I can't wait to hear you guys' thoughts on it. Do you think Sony will ever come around uh, and maybe join this this group, this conglomerate, this these groups of entities who want to introduce crossplay? I think crossplay is great. I don't have any issue with it, but I do understand the business aspect of what's going on here. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group. Follow me on Twitter, and if you'd like to show your support, you can do it at my Patreon. There's a link in the description. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.